NHL drivers. I'm going to make this quick video to show you how to set up an AD scanner for when you come back to the building. If you scan your freight then and or if at the end of the night if you scan your freight as well whether it's in the cage or left in the truck. So make sure it gets the scan on it and the right scan. So when you first get the scanner it's probably on some random screen or a screen like this. If it's not on the screen you can hold down one nine and the power button at the same time to reset it and eventually you'll come to this screen right here. Now the program we want to use of course is WCC. So we double click on that and then the program should load. So to log in you would need the username and or the password which you can get from your supervisor or there may be barcodes that are printed out and you can scan it with. After you have it you can click sign in and it should load and it should take you to the sign in screen. Okay, after we sign in, it should take us exactly right to this screen, just what we wanted. So we want to submit a checkpoint, and we want to have the checkpoints on the ADs. And this is typically the process for other things as well, but let's just stick with the ADs for right now. Checkpoint entry. Alright, so the cycle is always going to be A, that should load. It's always going to be DHL, that should load as well. What the route you want it to be is PHWH for the reason being, of course, PHWH, we're in the warehouse, so. And then, of course, it's going to be at the bottom because WH, alphabetical order. And then you can click on it right here. So then it'll have cycle A, PHWH, and DHL right there. And you click this button to go forward. Now the checkpoint we want to have for our ADs as of this moment in 2016 is CI for check-in. And when you click on it, it should bring up the number of comments you can have for the package. So you want to go down to handover because we're handing it over to the warehouse from on the road. So it should have PHWH right there. For the courier ID, you can type your last name or you can type PHL. We'll do PHL just for the sake of the video since we're in Philly. And then after this, you hit OK. Boom, the screen should look like this now and you should be able to scan. But Sometimes we occur some issues and stuff and we're not able to scan at all and things can happen. Sometimes when you're scanning freight the scanner will act up and go to a random screen. If it's on a screen like this, don't worry, it's only the checkpoint screen and you can alternate the checkpoints at any time by just going back to CI, handover, and type in PHL like we did before then pressing OK. So we'll type P H L. Hit OK. Boom, now we're back to the screen we want All to Alright, so at. this is another screen that pops up randomly. What it is is a dangerous goods. It's right below CI. Sometimes when you press the wrong button on the scanner, it'll be at this screen. So you hit the back button, the back button again, and you just scroll up. Boom, CI. And then we'll do the handover again. Then we will type PHL. PHL. And I hope you guys know the gray button correlates with the gray letters. The orange button matches with the orange letters, and that's how you type them by pressing either one first and typing the matching letters. Then we hit OK. So PHWH, PHL, boom, we're back at our screen that we need to be back on. Now we can go and apply all kinds of checkpoints. You could use this for the inspections, anything else. This is just for the AD scanners. So again, this is the screen you want to be at. It should say CI hand ever. And sometimes something will pop up. It'll make a weird noise. You can look at the screen and just hit OK when it pops up. It should take you right back to this should always say CI, handover, PHWH.
Oftentimes when you're scanning the AD packages, you'll get a screen that looks exactly like this. And what you do on this screen, it'll make a weird noise. You just press, okay, boom, it should take you back there. Now here, I'll even do, I'll press enter. And you hear that noise, beep, beep, beep. That means the scanner will be activated now, but you can't do that unless you press okay right here. That's what happens most of the time, guys. Just press okay and you should be back at the screen and the scanner should load you just heard the beeps and boom you should be able to scan so this is the screen you want to look out for CI and ever PHWH PHL or any last name yeah I know I talked a little slow throughout the video but I just had a coffee so I'm all good now uh, coffee was pretty good Alright, so anyway, I made this video not just for fun or anything, it's extremely serious. We do need to get the checkpoints on the packages. We gotta make sure that they do have the checkpoints. Not with just the AD scan and with the inspections, every single thing that we do here. That's the importance of having them and the reason why we have them. So we just have to ensure we're getting the proper scans on and going 120% all the time no matter what. So, Alright, um, I guess I'll see you guys at work tomorrow. Uh, and the next day, but bye.